Hi guys and welcome to Trinket Corner. I have noticed that book nooks are getting a lot of popularity now, so I have decided to make one. It's not going to be just a simple book nook, it's going to be an endless corridor illusion that looks bigger from the inside. In order to realize my idea, I will have to use mirrors. And that's why my book nook has to be very sturdy. I cut four pieces of wood to serve as pillars. Using my rotary tool, I dig one trench on each pillar. This is where the mirrors will go. I have also cut smaller pieces of wood to go in between the pillars. My husband was kind enough to help me with cutting and gluing. Using the smaller piece of wood we connected two pillars to each other with both trenches facing the same side. Then we measure and cut the walls, floor and roof. I used two types of mirrors with same dimensions. And while one of them is just an ordinary mirror, the other one is a mirror from one side and see-through glass from the other. Now we start building the box. The mirrors will go into the trenches next to each other on the front and back side of the book nook. But we start with the wall. I glue the U-shaped construction we made earlier onto the wall and let it dry for a day. I don't glue it to the other wall because the other wall will be technically a door. I just outline the U-shape on this wall so I know where the future bookshelf will go. I plan to have a pillar in the middle and five rows on each side. I transfer the draft from one wall onto the other. Then I glue on the pillars.
Now I glue the first wall onto the floor. There was a small crack on the other wall from the outside, so I patched it with wood filler. Before placing the mirrors, I cleaned them thoroughly. To fix the mirrors, I will use the strongest glue I have. This one is called Liquid Nail. I applied this paste into the trenches and then I placed the mirror. The ordinary mirror is going to be on the back side of the book nook. I place the book nook on the side wall, put the mirror into the trench and add more liquid nail. Because the trench is deep enough, the mirror will stay in its place until liquid nail is dry. Clean the front side of the mirror from any excess glue before it's dry. Now it's time to place the two-sided mirror. Make sure that mirror side is facing inwards and the glass side is facing outwards. This will help us to reach the endless corridor effect. Clean the glue from the mirror and apply some more onto the bottom. When the glue is completely dry and it holds the mirrors into the place, it's time to apply the second U-shaped structure. Don't forget to apply some wood glue onto the bottom to attach the structure to the floor. I fix everything with thread and let it dry for a day. Now it's time to attach the back. I decided to add a little bit of hot glue to make it more sturdy. Okay, not a little bit. This part is pretty straightforward, I just attach the other wall using hinges.
I add some wood glue for extra strength. Now this is how it looks when mirrors are in their places and the door is attached. I will attach the roof on a later stage because now I have to work on the inside. I glue a small piece of styrofoam onto the floor and cover everything with the cardboard. I cut pieces of styrofoam cornice to make lower shelves. I will need only four. I check if they fit and continue cutting. Then I cut 20 pieces of cardboard to serve as shelves. I cover the edges with masking tape and paint the whole floor black. I remove the masking tape when the paint is dry. Then I paint the whole inner surface. I took a piece of paper and cut it so it would fit perfectly onto the floor. Then I print black and white square pattern on my printer. I cut the print according to the pattern and glue it onto the floor. I paint the shelves from both sides and let them dry. I have downloaded a bunch of book covers from Pinterest. I scaled them down and printed on labels. I cut a piece of styrofoam into smaller sections and then I attached the covers.
I also painted the pieces of styrofoam that will go under the lowest shelves. I hot glued the books onto the shelves. Then I attached four lower shelves onto their styrofoam pieces. I painted the edges yellow because the pages of old books turn yellow. Thank you very much for watching. This is the end of part 1. Please check the next video for the full tutorial.